What's up guys, your software 13 Mike today. I'm going to do a review on my newest addition to my gun collection. Um, today we're going to have the Echo 1 MK16, aka the SCAR. Um, it's a really great gun, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys this. Um, if you haven't seen my uh, field loadout video, definitely check that out. Uh, it features this gun as well as the rest of the gear that I wear, including all the gear that I am wearing, and then some... Um, so if you are interested in any more details on on this or any other stuff I'm wearing, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, there's some information on there for you. But um, in my hand today, we've got the Echo 1 MK16. A little bit about this gun. Um, for those of you who uh, watched my last video or maybe you're following me on social media, you may know that I, for a while I uh, owned a ANK M16 uh, SPR motto. Um, and it wasn't necessarily that it was a bad gun. I got it for 215 off Evike. I mean, it had metal, metal hop up, metal internals, and I mean, it was fairly accurate. Um, but it just wasn't really what I was looking for. I was looking for something that I could utilize in so many and more ways than just that. It was sure it was awesome in in semi-automatic, but I wanted something that that I didn't have to put a hunting scope on to make it uh, more effective. I wanted something that I could put a normal rifle assault rifle optics on but still have the range and the mobility that i needed um not only was the uh ank spr horribly heavy um it didn't like the majority of the uh, magazines that i had for it the only one that it really accepted every single time was the one that it came with and it just wasn't my gun i i'm not a dmr guy or a sniper guy um i have really no need for any gun that functions that way which is the main reason why i got rid of it um so I ended up uh, posting it on my social media page. I got an offer uh, for this uh, Echo One um, MK16. Now none of the externals came with it. Only thing that came with it was the gun. I added the rest of the stuff myself. Um, so it comes with a V2 gearbox, and out of the box you're going to be uh, seeing it shoot around 370 to 400 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs. Um, it is a uh, the barrel. Uh, the outer barrel is on a 14 millimeter negative thread, so if you're looking at buying a suppressor for this, it's going to you're going to want to buy a 14 millimeter negative threaded suppressor. Um, you've got uh, your it's very 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 similar. Uh, I I had a buddy of mine just picked up a uh, VFC scar, and I shot that. And to be honest, even internally, it is very very similar to to the uh, VFC SCAR. Um, I think honestly what it comes down to comparing the two, um, obviously with the VFC you're going to be spending a little bit more money and um, there are some better internal parts that are compatible with the VFCs that may not be compatible with the Echo ones. Um, but to be honest, if you're not wanting to go out there and spend 350 on a VFC SCAR, I, this has the same exact body construction. It's got the the metal upper. It's got the polymer lower with the polymer stock construction. It's got all the MK16 trademarks. Um, it comes with the built-in front um, flip-up sight and the uh, SCAR style rear flip-up sight. Um, and then I added a uh, UTG Deluxe tactical flashlight. Uh, it's 95 lumens. I added a uh, 14 millimeter um barrel uh extension and i'm waiting on a suppressor it's on shipping to me now and i added a uh, four grip um so uh if you're looking for a good gun i i will tell you right off the bat this gun is really 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 good um it does come with plastic internals minus the gearbox uh, but the whole hop-up system is plastic um so if you're someone who's super picky about that you might want to buy a new hop-up system. I mean, that's been about the only thing that's bothered me. But to be honest, the VFCs come with the exact same internals um, as far as the plastic goes. Um, so, uh, so yeah, if you're looking for an affordable gun, Airsoft GI has it for 235, I believe, um, and that comes with the foregrip. Um, it's just a really, really, really good gun. I'll try to get a shooting video up here pretty quick. Um, but if you like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, um, all that great stuff.